Well, boys, it's time to vlog, I guess. I'm a little nervous. I don't know. Never done a vlog before. Doesn't seem like it's that difficult, but I, I don't know. I'm usually gaming, you know what I mean? But uh, we're here. We're vlogging. And uh, tomorrow, I get I get on a plane at like 11 a.m. We got to get up super early, drive all the way down to Washington, D.C. But I wanted to show you some things I'm packing. I know. Look at. Wow. Wow. Although, also looking. Anyway, uh, one controller. Okay. Look at this beautiful controller, Xbox Elite V2. You can find the link down below in the description. Anywho, uh, second controller, um, just in case, I guess. Then we got these things. Uh, these are microphones. I'm not going to pull that out because I think it'll do some weird things. Um, this is what this is. That way we can do the vlogsicles, and I don't really have anything else. But th I thought this was cool. I thought I would share this with you. RD business cards. Uh, you can scan that. It's upside down because I'm a goof. That's fire. Anyway, I just want to thank you guys. I'm so excited for this trip and none of this would be possible if it wasn't for you. So thank you. I, I got to stop pointing over there. It, you guys are over here. There you go over there. Uh, I love you and um, we'll see you in the morning. All right, boys. Morning of. I didn't sleep at all. Like not a wink, not even, well, maybe like two hours, but I'm very tired. So let's get on the road, baby. Well, boys, we've made it. Got our luggage, got everything. We're in Milan. Got to find our driver, though. So I'll get back with you in a little bit. Well, dudes, man, we just got here. What a crazy long, it was like two hours to, it was like a three hour drive to DC and then like two hour wait there. And then DC to Canada was two hours and then an eight hour layover and then a nine hour flight. But we're here. I gotta keep looking over there. I forget. We gotta. We're we're here. So now we're here. We're at the hotel, as you can see. Uh, and now we're gonna go over and uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go to the event and get our VIP badges or something like that. And uh, we're gonna meet up with Dorian, Willie, and Valentin Lede. So it should be should be fun. I'm tired, but we're here, baby. Well, boys, what are we doing? Are we trying to find the real life track? Real life track, yeah. Oh. Where is it? All right. Who are you? This guy. I'm Willie. That's Willian. Dorian. Valentin. Luca. <laughs> I'm Doc, obviously. Yo, this place is actually crazy. So there's the track that we're gonna be racing on, but virtually, you know what I mean? Dirt bikes, all that goofy stuff. This place is crazy. Uh, so Dorian, Valentin, Willie and myself, just kind of walking around waiting for Linz, Cam, Jams, some of the other goobers. Good morning, gamers. It's very early. Uh, I've just woken up as my eyes. I'm very tired. We did sleep all night, uh, which is good. Um, but today, as you can see, it's game time, baby. As you can see, look at the uh, ring bee donk. Uh, today is game day. We're gonna go get some breakfast with the boys. And then, uh, yeah, oh, it's over to the event. We got some freestyle, pre-recorded things we gotta do, which is gonna be a little Silly. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll, we'll see if it's legit or not. And then pretty much just have the day to sit around and be nervous 
pretty much. And then we race later on today, like two, three o'clock. So should be a good time. I love you. And uh, I'll try to get some footage throughout the day. So. We're here, boys. Check it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, boys. We got Victor here. We just got all of our settings set up, and I think we're about to jump into a, a whip comp or something like that. But as you can see, People are starting to gather just a little bit. The race isn't for a few hours, but oh my. I think we're all getting a little nervous. I just want a game, baby. I'm just ready to play the game, but Stoney! Hey. Gates down. Oh, well, we are actually we are completely underway in camp. Oh, will grab that hole shot. It is just what he needed. The perfect start for him, and it is now his time to run away with it. No, oh, Linz is having is, a time. He is not having a good time in that rhythm section as he's gonna lose out even more places. Reaper talk and Willie are now out here fighting with Lens. Lens with a block pass there on uh, Aiden, it looked like. It's gonna get, it's gonna get, oh! oh big crash. That is not what you wanna see. And now look at this. Victor is gonna have to claw, and that's not Victor, that is Dorian. Dorian had to clog his way through, through the whoops. Now Dorian battling with Aiden a little bit more as we look at Reaper Doc now. And this right here, it's not that wasn't the best start for him, but he's having himself a solid ride now as he has put himself into fourth place. Still again, battling with Linz. Reaper is not known for his speed. He never has been. He's been known for his consistency. And honestly, if you talk to Reaper. He would tell you he's better at Supercross than he is Motocross. So he is in his comfort zone right now. And look at this Reaper battling with Lens. The, the battle of the YouTube sensation sword. That's, I mean, that is not a joke in any way, shape, or form. That is literal as literal gets. Revs it's, are up. Look who's out on the down. far outside. Who, Who is that? The yeah. gate's down. Ooh. That looked like it was Valentin on the far outside. We are underway in Milan, but Cam will once again Get that hole shot with Lynn sitting up right there. Oh, Cam the goes down. Oh, and it's a huge pile up after the first rhythm section. Lynn is going to start off with a huge lead. Jams is going to be up in the second and Valentin in third. And Cam is dead last, Navo. Just like we said, cool. Cam, the only thing he had to worry about, and it has come to fruition. Now he doesn't have that horrible decision to make. So maybe that's for the best. It, it might be, but that... That had sent him back down just a bit more. Which is, which is a shame, because that was a great start for him. It was. Now, looking back a little bit more as Doc is, oh. Oh, man. Having a big off there. Dorian Merritt trying to get by Reaper Doc. But you know, what a showing for him, though. He's been, dude, he's been competitive. Nabo, he has been very competitive. I, I, in, in, in Moto 1, he put up with Lens for almost, I'd say, half a lap. Half a lap is crazy, by the way. Here's me ahead of Lens at like 16 minutes. And here's me still ahead of Lens at like eight minutes. Just saying. Back to the vlog. Which, I mean, and we're talking about in like crunch time. So that was, that was very good, good to see from Reaper Dog. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Well, boys, the races are over. That was actually crazy. I tried to get some footage, so I'll put that up in the, you know, in the background, maybe while I'm doing the voiceover here. But man, that was actually crazy. The whole day was just insane. They they had rider intros and then <sighs> moto. We had free practice for a little while, for like 20 minutes, and then which <clears throat> in free practice I actually. Um, I think I qualified like seventh or eighth or something in free practice. But when I, what I found out was all of my like lean settings had reset to stock. So all like my linearity and everything, I felt like something was just so off the whole time I was playing. But when I would check my settings, all my binds were there and everything. So I wasn't super sure what was on, what was going on, but I just kind of finished free practice. But just before qualifying, I said, oh, well, all right, well, let me just check and see what it is. And well, I went about two seconds faster in qualifying. After fixing my settings, um, I think I ended up qualifying sixth um, or seventh or something like that. I think sixth. And so I did feel pretty good. Um, I felt like the lap I put down was like actually really fast and just kind of a bummer because I felt like the other guys probably had a little bit more in the tank and I, I didn't really, I didn't. I think I could have gone like a couple tens faster, but I don't think I would have moved up at all. And then, Moto One, oh my gosh, man, I uh, got actually a really good start and my front end just, you know, tucked. It just did the TM thing where it just completely tucked and just put me into the tough blocks. And I was kind of like last, a bunch of guys crashed and I ended up working my way back all the way up to fourth. I rode really good for like 10, 15 minutes. I was all the way up in fourth, I think at like 10 or 12 minutes into the race, really vibing. And then I made one like very crucial mistake in Moto One. Uh, there's that like triple before the last rhythm section, and I got a little bit distracted. Dude, there was people everywhere. By the way, there's people to my right. There was people like all over the place. Just it was just hard to focus. There's cameras in our face. There's lights that you could hear the announcers. It was really hard to lock in. And so someone looked at me, like made eye contact with me to my right right here. And so I looked over, and then when I looked back, I just like kind of locked. Like I just lost focus a little bit. And when I tripled, I came up a little bit short and it bounced me over the berm. And then I kind of got like stuck in the back end and I lost like, I don't know, four positions or something like that right there. So, and that track, I mean, the lap times, Cam who lapped everybody uh, was only going like a second or two faster than us. But like, you know, the, the, the times are really close, like within tenths. So, it was really just who made the least amount of mistakes because once you got to somebody, it was really, really hard to pass. I mean, it made for really good racing, but it was like almost impossible to pass. And then Moto2, I was quite literally a pinball machine in Moto2. I was just on the start, got an okay start again, and then I was just getting bounced around by everybody and their mother. And then, uh, yeah, yeah. And then I, I think I was like seventh or eighth. Uh, just, and I don't think I got around anybody. I couldn't, you know, it was just locked in behind them. And then I, my first few laps, I, I don't know why, I was more nervous the second moto. I think it was because I did okay in moto one and then I felt like, all right, I can hang. And then I just kind of choked, but that's all right. I think we won a world superbike trip, uh, which is cool. I don't know where to. Um, and then uh, Oakley gave us some awesome things. It's, and then, yo, it's crazy. Cam won and Cam, the watch Cam got is like 15 grand. That's insane. But um, incredible experience. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know if this vlog is even gonna be good. I've just, it's been really distracting and really difficult throughout this whole trip to put everything together. So I hope that it's good. I hope you guys enjoy it. I did try very hard, but I think tonight we're gonna hang out. I think we're gonna go with some pizza which would be pretty enjoyable. But um, I played MX bikes in Italy. What are, okay, buddy. All right, well, I'll probably have some footage and maybe I'll voice over some things, but uh, man, this was just insane. I love you. Thank you guys. Thank you. You guys, the little subscribers, you guys are just, thank you. What an amazing trip. I will never, ever forget that. Um, it was one of the most incredible experiences. We were treated like absolute royalty the whole time. In it, uh, Virtual MX, the ICMA, EICMA, they, they took such good care of us and it was beyond anything I think any of us could have imagined. Um, I know we all sit around and play bikes and I think we were all a little nervous, like what is this actually gonna be? But it, it was 
It was as cool as it looks. I can confirm that. So if you're interested in bikes, now's the time to get into it. Now's the time to grind, baby. Because if there's a year two, you're going to want to be there. Thank you guys for everything. I am just blessed. So thank you.